After catching her boyfriend in bed with another woman, exotic dancer Cindy Cinnamon moves into her own apartment owned by his creepy stroke victim. Later, her, one of her colleagues gives her a new designer drug called Night Creep. Upon taking her to her life, suddenly goes from being strange to being very deadly. Night Creep is a low-budget independent horror film with a pretty cool concept, okay execution, actors who do a commendable job, and it's also very well directed. It, yet plot-wise, it's not half bad, it, but yet it has severe pacing issues. As this is more of a psychological thriller and not so much a horror movie, films that basically feature a single titular character with a troubled past and one who suffers from reoccurring nightmares, you are bound to be bombarded by images that serve as reference to a certain troubled past. You're going to have pacing issues in this regards, and every film I've seen like this has had pacing issues, so this is not so much a criticism as it is an observation. And in terms of the pacing, Night Creep is incredibly slow, especially all through the second act. The pacing is almost at a the point of being horrendously slow. This is merely an 88-minute film, but it feels more like two hours. I wasn't going to say 188, that's a bit of an exaggeration. But at the same time, this is also a film I greatly admire because it understands plot, it understands character, it's well directed, it's visually good looking considering that this was shot on video, it, uh, the film looks great. As a technical achievement, the film crew has every reason to be proud of what they were able to accomplish. It's just plot-wise, the film is just intensely slow. And in regards to characters, there are no terrible characters, but nobody you would latch on to. Our lead actress, Christine Sparks, who plays Cindy, her character, very interesting, not somebody you would necessarily latch on to, but her character arc basically draws you in for the first act. But the rest of it, you are, as I said, bombarded by images from her supposed past, and also she suspects that the landlord who owns her apartment is coming into her room, but a lot of it feels like it doesn't add anything to the plot progression. However, I wouldn't go out of my way to tell people they should avoid night creep like the plague, but I wouldn't also go out of my way to recommend this movie. Fact is, it's a semi-interesting watch mainly for its technical achievements and the fact that it has a concept with potential and the execution is not all that bad. But quite frankly, for a low-budget indie and what it was able to achieve technically, I'd say this is a commendable effort despite its severe pacing flaws. So with that said, I think it would be fair to give Night Creep a 4.7 out of 10. So if any of you guys by any chance seen Night Creep and what did you think about it, let me know in the comments. And what is your favorite indie horror movie that has come out lately or over the past two decades? And if you like this video and would want to stay update, I'm pretty sure you know what to do, so do it. And in the meantime, I'll check you guys later.